I came outside to see how I could outwit my marauding pigs, my uh, javelinas, that I don't have a problem with, really. I just brought that beautiful bird seed for my sweet bird that I wanted to feed. And then I thought, oh, huh, they can't climb. They can't. They will be snuffling around in here, and they won't have any idea where is that coming from, because it'll be right there. And I think it's wedged in there pretty good that I don't think it's going anywhere. I think this is the best place for it. I mean, if they want to jump up on their hind legs and get to that, I mean, they could. They could, but I don't know if they're that smart. I could see if I could put it up one higher. Let's see. Whoa! Sorry. See if I could, I was gonna just raise you guys up a little bit so you could see a little bit better. So you could kind of follow what I'm doing. Did I flip us around? No, we're right there. Okay, so if I put it up here and I wedge it in there, the opening is kind of precarious. So, I mean, I could just watch it, you know, and as it gets lower, there's no way they're gonna get to that. That's what I should have done the other day. So when it, they start pecking at it, they're gonna be excited. This tree's gonna be the party tree. So I come outside to do that. It still hasn't rained on us yet, but it's brought the temperature down, which is great. And I was just gonna, doing that, and I thought, oh, I should fill this water up. I watered this morning everywhere else, and there's a package from Tammy and John for me. So, you know I open my frizzies online so that they can see me go, oh my god, that's so freaking cool, right? All right. She said to me today, watch the mail, watch for the mail. Yay. That's why the chipmunk ran across and said something wonderful is going to happen. Oh my gosh, you guys spent a fortune in postage. That's ridiculous. You need to now stop. I've told her, she needs to stop doing this now. It's enough. It's wonderful, but stop. It's too much. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of things. <laughs> oh. Transformation, emo releasing emotional baggage. Oh, it's soft. My frog prince. Is this my frog prince? If I kiss him, is he gonna turn into a prince? Okay, he's got whipstick on now. Oh, neat. Pine cones from Ta Tammy and John's home where you're welcome always. Okay, these are sugar, these are sugar pines. I have, oh, I don't have them with me now. They're, they're back in, uh, did I bring them with me? I think I left them back in, in Canyon Lake. I brought a, a few small ones. This one is from my girlfriend, Erica. This is also a Wisconsin pine cone. People think of pine cones and they think of me. But this is a sugar pine cone, is what they're called. Honey sugar, sugar cone, sugar pine cone. Four of them. There are angels all around you. You're completely guided, protected, and loved. There's no reason for fear. Neat. Oh my goodness, there's a whole stash. Okay, there's something really cool in here. <laughs> I'm gonna open up the card first. Actually, what I'm gonna do first is this. Oh my gosh, you guys, you got me. Oh my gosh, there's a lot in here. What is it, my birthday again? Oh my word. So I said I like sitting on this bench, on the hard bench, and they bought me a cushion. As soon as I said that, they went and bought me a cushion, and, and I'm like, you guys can't just keep buying me everything. And they said, well, we already bought it. And it's turquoise, my soul color. Oh, it does feel so much better. Oh, I like that. Thank you, thank you. Okay. There's so many things in here. <laughs> you're like my, you're like Diane. Diane does this too. A whole stash of things. Keychain. Think happy, be happy. Stop and smell the roses. Only you can make it happen. Stop, breathe, enjoy, repeat. Treat me like a joke and I'll leave you like it's funny. It's okay to take a break. 
Why not? Okay, let's do this. I love you. Take time to do what makes you your soul happy. These are all like little, are they, they're like book, bookmarks? This is how simple it would be for me to make my deck. This is all I want, right? It would be like, a squirrel just ran running across the top of my roof just right then. <laughs> Hold on. I can hear you. I can hear you running up there. Totally running, all the way across the top. Are you, you cheeky little thing. I don't know if you guys could hear that. It was literally run, 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 run across the top of my roof. Oh my God, that was funny. Okay. I heard him. I heard him, but I didn't see him. Okay. Um. Only you can make it happen. Why not? Think happy. Stop and smell the roses. It's okay to take a break. Treat me like a joke and I'll leave you like it's funny. Stop, breathe, enjoy, repeat. Okay, let's do this. I love you. Take time to do what it makes. Take time to do what makes your soul happy. So what I was saying was, this is what I want my cards to be. Just pretty much this, like about this size. So if we were to take this part of the sand ear and add it across the top so the cards were like say that big, that's how big I want them to be, just like that. I already have the picture that I want to print on the front of them. And it's, I'm thinking what, why, that must be simple to do, right? I love these. These are actually good. I could add these to my readings, right? Let's see, what's the one that's most important for us right now? Correct for neutrality on all levels, for everybody. What is the most important? What's the little positive affirmation that we want to say today? They're noticing I put the, the bird seed in the, in the tree. They're all coming to the tree. <laughs> Yay! Come on, which is it, that one? I love you. I love you. Do you need to say that to somebody today? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> That's the most important thing to say. Okay. I said it. I love you, Tammy and John. I love you, Jake. I love you, Lizzie. I love you, Devin. I love you, Grannis. I love you, Mom. I love you, Archangel Michael. I love you, Archangel Metatron. <sighs> I love you, Archangel Uriel. I love you, Master Jesus. I love you, Rita. I love you, Grandma. I love you, Diane. I love you, Erica. <laughs> The list goes on and on. Sherry, okay, there's more. Because I started to read it. Hold on. Crystals? <laughs> you guys are something else. You guys are something else. Oh, we're going to find out what this is, aren't we? We have this ongoing dilemma about what this stone is, and I'm going to find it for the life of me because her cat picked it out of a whole group of stones. And then later that day came walking down the hallway within it, with this stone in her mouth. Today she did the same thing with amethyst. So amethyst is protection, calm, peaceful, helping you sleep. And I'd have no clue what this stone is. They might just look at it and go, it's a rock. It's just a rock. We'll see. It's a pet rock. I was wondering if I could read something in it. X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Can you see it right there, the X? X marks the spot. I've got X marks the spot right on my property. Interesting. Carnelian, right? Actually, carnelian's more translucent. Is this bloodstone? Looks like bloodstone. And this one looks like chrysoprase. No, amazonite. Right? Okay. Amazonite, bloodstone. We'll have to look up why I need those right now. Oh my God. <gasps> oh. 
Wow. So this is intriguing the way it came out here. Looks like it's sapphire. And look at the man's, except for, God, that's beautiful. I love that. There's green and rose quartz, and there's like rainbow colors through the center of it. God, that's neat. This feels so good. Gosh, I got all my rings on. Now I gotta read this. Good Lord. This ring represents nature's strength. Koa wood, abalone, and tungsten. We wear them as a symbol of love, spirituality, and strength against evil. This is one of your sisters. You are part of our spirit family, love and light. Holy God, I love that. I've seen these. It's a little one, so it's got to swap out one of my others. Oh, it feels really good. Oh, it feels really good. Oh, I like that. Look at that earthing. That is so bitchin'. And this one. I'm gonna have to swap my rings, right? This would be a good one to wear when I'm like hiking. And it's so, cause it doesn't stick up and I won't catch it on stuff. This one is beautiful. You know what? I'm gonna put that with this one. No. It's gotta go alone. It's gotta go alone. Sorry, I've got one more thing to show you. My fingers are swollen, it's really humid today. Hold on, I'll swap it and put it here. the trees. It reminds me of actually coral. The branches. Size six must be right. That fixed my ring finger. Let me see if it fits this one. This, I think my left hand is different than my right. Gosh, that's beautiful. Sterling silver and sapphire. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't even believe that. I'm not a very good reactor, am I? I should be crying. I'll probably cry later. I'm just, it should go on this hand because it goes with my shaman bracelet. And look at that, I'm wearing that today. This color, color of truth and communication. And Archangel Michael, oh my gosh. No. This one feels amazing, I can't tell you. Okay, I love that, you guys. You guys are, it needs to stop. <laughs> love Tammy and John, our home is always your home in Wisconsin. Love you, sister. And this is something from John that my, I have a 12 string fender that I got for my twin and I don't know how to play the guitar very well and I gave one of my guitars to my grandson, my white one, and I let my uh, son-in-law Jacob borrow it until my twin comes back into my life. <laughs> and they, they're like, she's like, okay, mom, like that's never gonna happen. But I went over to their house at Christmas and one of the things Jacob got was um, guitar things to hold, like holders for the guitars for the wall. And I said, I need to get a guitar holder because I'm worried about my, I mean, I. Mine's just a rogue. I love the I love the sound of it. It's got a beautiful sound. It's not the twelfth string fender, but I love it. And I and I and I don't want it to fall and it's just kind of precariously sitting there. So John says, I heard you were not feeling very happy today. You're feeling sad and I wanted to, you know, perk up your spirits. And so I heard you needed a guitar holder. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Isn't that just the coolest thing you ever saw? 
It's gonna hold the guitar just like that. <laughs> I love it. I don't even know where to put it. Did you freaking take it right off your wall and give me yours? That is so freaking cool. Let's go see. I don't know how to put it on my wall. I should put a big hole in my wall. I don't know if Barbara ever saw that. My friend Barbara gave me that. See, it sits right there. I'm worried about Papa Terry's mountain, mountain dulcimer as well. Okay, so. Does it go like that? Or like. Oh! It must go like this. Watch me break my guitar trying to figure it out. Isn't that the neatest thing ever? <laughs> Wait till I show my daughter. She's gonna be like, Mom, I want that. I don't know, someone's gonna have to put this up on my wall for me because I can't do it, I'll wreck it. Sorry, Liger, I didn't mean to wake you up. I love you guys, you guys are amazing. I, I'm spoiled. Thank you.